while Curator is well known to have interfaces and, and what we call DSN, device support module, so people call parsers to everything out there, even our fiercest competitors, they cannot afford not having interface with Curator and nor can we be, you know, uh, stop on our reputation of being completely open and integrate with everybody. So let me, but let me show you some, some examples of integration that we do with uh, uh, Curator remarkably well, particularly with some of uh, the IBM uh, products. Uh, we, we spoke before about BigFix and the capability that we have with BigFix of determining which vulnerability have available patches. That is because of the, this, by virtue of that big fix feed that we get uh, from from Curator. We will very soon be able uh, to send those uh, vulnerabilities straight into the big fix console, so you don't have to have a Curator ID to see that. We today get the patch status, when, whenever we want to ask BigFix about a patch status of a particular vulnerability, we get it from BigFix, so we don't have to wait until the next scan cycle to see what the status of that one is. We will very soon be able to ask Curator, from a Curator console, we can ask BigFix to quarantine a particular endpoint. Let's say the Curator determines that there is a a bad IP and you know instead of looking at the phone and finding the guy from from Big Fit, we can actually do that from we will we'll be able very soon to do that from the curator console itself let's talk about integration with Gadium and so with Gadium we, we have the capability of you know turning off logs and audit which saves a tremendous amount of performance on the machine and send only relevant information, policy violations, into Curator. That's been there for, for a while and people really appreciate it. We very recently announced a bidirectional capability. So not only Gadium sends information to Curator but also the other way around. Curator, for example, again, Curator finds a rogue IP that is normally uh, the Guardium allows that IP, let's say that is part of an SAP pool of IPs, uh, and it allows those IPs to access that uh, that data in that database that is used by, by SAP. But let's say because Curator finds that a, a, a particular IP is, is having too many login failures or any of the other good things uh, that Curator detects about it, it may actually prevent that particular IP from accessing the data, even though the policy normally allows them to. So it's a bi-directional uh, capability. And there are very many other things that you can incorporate into the Guardian policy. Moving on, with the IPSs, with ours and, 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 and a few others, uh, not only ours, but others has approached uh, Curator, and Curator has been working with them. We have the capability on, on, on those IPSs to use what is called the right-click plugin, which is a way of really from the Curator console again to right click on a particular IP and ask that IPS to, for example, quarantine that IP or port or both. So you may find something that is not good. You see it on the console. Instead of looking for the phone of the IPS guy, you can actually right click from, uh, from the Curator console and uh, have that IPS uh, quarantine that data. Let's talk about integration with Trustier. Trustier is a great technology for protecting against an advanced malware. So let's say that, the, but the problem that some people have is that, well, what happened when the, the guy gets actually dinged, uh, fished uh, when he's outside the corporate network, where, where curator is not actually processing he, the, the, the logs. He's not at home. He's in a hotel. Well, what curator can, can do is that Curator can get from Trustier alerts right from the cloud. Trustier is a cloud, it's a SaaS type of offering, and when Trustier detects that, for example, a guy click on a, on a malformed uh, PDF file, uh, it will send an information to Curator, so when the guy comes back on Monday, he might be quarantined, or he might be uh, under special rules for risky uh, users because he clicked there. With Identity Manager, well, one of the things that we we can easily do with our uh, Identity Management, and can be done with others, uh, is the capability of uh, using IDI, there's a license for in, uh, 
IBM Directory Integrator uh, with uh, Curator that allows you to do things like whenever I, uh, as a consequence of a rule, I can actually revoke somebody's access. Okay, you may need to do or revise the, the scripts that we produce, uh, uh, the, 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 the JavaScript that we produce for IDI, but it's actually something that uh, you may want to automate. Regarding the mainframe, well, not only we have very effective parsers that can get SMF uh, data uh, from the mainframe, you know, nicely normalized, so, so you can actually see it from the uh, Curator console and, and get, you know, a sequence of events, well, uh, unsuccessful login, network scanning, successful login, privilege escalation, and then, you know, some data uh, that, that tells me about uh, bad access on the mainframe, all in a single offense. But now we added historical correlation. You see, the problem is that those SMF records from the mainframe, they are not collected real time. They are normally collected in match mode at the end of the day or twice a day. And then what happened with the timestamp? Well, I mean, when I collect the events in the evening, how do I correlate with things that were actually happening at noon? Well, what we do with historical correlation is that we, we rerun the custom rules engine against the timestamp that, that the logs were collected, and then we don't miss uh, uh, those those events and we can actually correlate and we do this with no programming you don't need to know any programming uh, to use curator in fact if you know english and the uh, ip lingo that that's what you you need again you don't need to have a phd on the tool to use it it's very intuitive so you can actually train uh people that just know how the network works and some basic stuff and and they, they can get uh familiar and comfortable with Curator very recently. Recent things that we have added into the tool. Well, one of the things that we added are domains. And that's a way in Curator to effectively deal with duplicated IPs. Let's say that you acquire a company where there is a set of IPs that uh, collide with, with the ones that you already have. Or you can define them in a different domain and you can have all those uh, you know, different rules that apply to different domains and have all that very well managed. We added, uh, actually a while back, uh, multi-tenancy, which is worth noting that for those people who want to provide services using Curator. And we have Curator on the cloud, both collecting logs from the cloud, running Curator on, 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 on things like SoftLayer, or having it as a, as a service as well. Things that we are going to be doing, and you know, pretty soon with uh, with Curator additions to it. Well, th th if there's something that people may may not be so comfortable with, is that to write a custom parser or custom DSM, you need to have some knowledge of regular expression, which is not you know a big deal. But some people may find that you know I'm not I'm not a programmer, I'm not familiar with regular expression. So we're going to be coming pretty soon with a version that requires no regex knowledge. With all that is done on a very nicely, nice, nice, nice UI in which you, you know, uh, do the the you click on the on the data that you want it to be to be searched upon, and then the the regex is automatically generated for you. Curator apps is something that we will be producing soon, which is a way of providing very nice UIs to things where the uh, Curator is the main engine, so you don't have to have a Curator console, access to the console, to get some of the things. We will be soon adding Stick and Taxi for consumption of automated uh, thread data. And I'm afraid I run out, run out of paper and space here, but I hope that you have seen some of the things that make Curator so unique.